Welcome to another episode of Floor Talk. Today we're joined by our Lush products! Yay! Anyways, I'm Lily. And I'm Kate. And we haven't really done anything in a while, at least I haven't, but today we're going to introduce our favourite Lush products, at least the ones we already bought. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I think I'm going to start with a wonderful shampoo that somebody very fabulous got me for my Christmas. And it's this one here. This is Daddy O, and it's a nice violet shampoo. It's really meant for blonde hair, but I love purple and I love the smell of this. And if I just show you the colour here, it's bright purple and it looks like the sort of paint I had at school. I don't it know looks really cool. Yeah. It doesn't smell very strong. It has a um... It has an okay smell. We sound like wine connoisseurs. <laughs> for, smell a lot. for anybody who's tasted Parma Violet, that's the closest thing I can imagine this tasting to. It just tastes like those amazing purple sweets you used to get as a kid. It looks really cool and I can't wait to try this out because it just looks amazing. Um, the next one may be the refresher, which is a shower jelly and I've always wanted one of these because they'll just look really really cool in the store. So I went in and they had this and the blue one. I just take this one out. It is really quite amazing. It smells so good. That smells like... Really fresh, like lemon yeah. something. It's just lemon, lemon, lemon. Like lemon sherbet, funnily enough. And then it does this. This is just really cool. The only thing is in the shower, when you use it, like it just keeps trying to get out of your hand and just flop down into the shower and then you might step on it and break your neck or something. But apart from that, it's really, really fun to use. It'd be worth it, breaking your neck, <laughs> you know. Well, the next one I'm going to take is... I think I'll continue with my shower theme, and this is the Yuzu and Coco shower cream. And I'm a big fan of my cocktails, and I love pina colada. And this basically smells like pina colada to me. Absolutely gorgeous. It's like a growing up cocktail dessert, and I can't wait for my whole body to smell like that. It's also like you smell it and you have the feeling you can drink it. Mm. I always get in trouble in Lush stores for trying to eat the things, and I think I'm really going to get in trouble with this one because <laughs> this is just such a favourite. Uh -huh. Next up is my, my shampoo, which is in this awesome little box. Montalbano, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so it's really cool, like, it looks like this, and it's already been used, like, a lot of times, and that's why it looks like this. And it has, like, a piece of lemon in it, and it smells, smells like lemon. So you've already used that before? Yeah. That looks a lot different to how I imagined this would look after several uses. I thought well, I use it quite often, actually. Yeah, I always thought they'd, like, start to crumble apart. I've not used these yet. I think they, they crumble apart now, but I've used it, like, for a month. That's every, really good. Every couple of days or so. And the good thing about this is, you don't actually need a lot. Like, this this starts f foaming really, really quick. Mm -hmm. So you just get a bit in your hair and then you put it to the side and then you just get all the stuff over your hair and it's like loads and loads of foam and you don't need a lot of that. These sound so fun. And the only thing I don't like is that, well, because it's like a bar, you, you need to put it to the side, so I got this box. But if you put it in a box and it's still wet, then it gets a bit like slimy. And it's got like weird consistency now. Great. I love it. I would totally buy this again, because this is just amazing. Also, you can take it on flights, because Ooh. obviously it's not it's not liquid. Yeah. And you need to get this box separately, but it's totally worth it. Well, the next one I'm going to go for is the Softy Foot Lotion. So this is a foot lotion. It comes out rather thick. What does it actually do? You just kind of rub it into your feet and give them a nice massage and it just makes your feet feel nice. Oh, okay. Um, it doesn't really smell of it much to me. I can't figure out what it smells like. But apparently yeah. there's some sort of marshmallow root in that much. Yeah, I like the smell. I just can't put my finger on what it is. Yeah, same here. Mm. And I've only used a little bit of that so far. I'm not really good at looking after my feet. But since I have that big, big bottle, I should probably try to be a lot better. Right, so I'm going on with Ocean Salt. 
And this is a bit older actually. I think I bought this in summer. Um, it smells quite fresh as well, mm. so it smells a bit like lemons again, I think. That smells like shaving foam to me. There's, like, there's a theme here, I love lemons. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's like a face wrap, or I think a body wrap as well. Yeah, you can do both, yeah. I think. And I just liked it because it was really, really good to my skin. My skin was absolutely awful, so I tried this. And you don't need to use this every day, because before that I had to use one that was for every day and that just really, really, really annoyed me because every time before you shower you have to, or every t every evening you have to wash your face and use this face wrap and that was just annoying me so much because I'm too lazy to do that. But you can use this like once or twice a week and that way you, this part actually lasts really, really long and that's just the small ones. You can't use it much more often because there's... um obviously ocean salt in there, <laughs> but this is really good for your skin if you use it like once or twice a week. So I also mostly use Lush for skin products. So this is part of my skin routine. It's a 9 to 5 cleansing lotion and I've done a couple of Lush videos before and every time I have a different cleanser because I haven't found the one yet, <laughs> this is it. I love it. So it doesn't really smell of very much. But it's almost like a cleansing milk when you put it on your skin. It's very soft. It's good for sensitive skin, I'd say. Like, it's just very milky. And it really blends quite well. And I can just take a tiny squeeze out of that onto my hand and it will do my whole face. So this cost me £5.10 and it's going to last me quite a while. Okay, so I'm going on with my moisturiser. Enzymion? Yeah. Um, it took me quite a while to figure out which moisturiser was good for my face because as I said before, my face is really, it's really, it's, I think it really got its own personality. It's high maintenance. Yes. <laughs> and I could never quite figure out what I need, but this is just amazing. Like, I literally put it on my face and I feel that it gets better. And although it's quite expensive, I think it's really worth the money because it really helped my face. Well, that's just personally me. I tried a lot of them before I found this one. And also, you don't need a lot for your whole face. Mm -hmm. Like, like if you just put so much on your finger, that's almost too much. Like, so, you don't need a lot of it. So I think this is going to last me quite a long time, although it was quite expensive. But I think it was really, really worth it. And that's a good link into my moisturiser. And this is my most favourite thing I've ever got out of Lush. It's the Celestial Moisturiser. I discovered Lush in August last year. And this is my third pot. I've been using it every day and I'm surprised it's only my third pot, to be honest. <laughs> now, the way I can explain this is it smells like the inside of a magnum. Yeah, it smells really sweet. Yeah. And if you can maybe see, you maybe can't, there's like a spot there where there's sort of some dimpling. That's because what I do each day is I just put one finger in and that more than does my whole face. Yeah, that's the same with my one, by the way. So they, they're just doing really mm. well. So it seems expensive for a moisturiser. This one's £12.95. And my one was... £14.95. £14, yeah. So it was yeah. 23 euros, so it is quite expensive. Mm. But because it lasts you so long, you can spend £3 on your moisturiser each month. Yeah. Or you get one of these mm -hmm. and it lasts for really long. So it seems expensive, but if it works for your skin and it lasts a good amount of time, then you don't really find yourself caring. I absolutely love this and it's been my holy grail in winter, especially on like cold days when it feels like your skin is going to chap away. Putting a layer of this on before I go outside, it just feels so much better and I can feel my skin almost thanking me for taking care of it. Great, I'm going on with my most favourite shower gel. It's called Rose Jam and it just smells amazing. The problem is they only had it over Christmas so I don't think it's being sold anymore but it just smells so good. It smells like somebody's home baking, like strawberry tarts or something. <sighs> it's like roses and I'm not sure what else is in there but it's a lot of rose, mm. rose oil and it smells so good. Yeah, the last product I have is also a Christmas product and this is called Bush de Noël. I'm probably saying that wrong. 
But this is a face and body cleanser. And the best way to describe this is it smells like you're smearing Christmas pudding all over your face. <laughs> so there's cranberries in there, there's satsumas, and what looks like oats, but I could be wrong. And it smells a lot like brandy as well. It does smell like a dessert. Hmm. It's really strange. Like, you know, one of these ice creams. It even looks like one. Yeah. So I could just, like, take a spoon and eat it. <laughs> when I tried this, it wasn't my most favourite cleanser. I hoped that it would be similar to Angels on Bare Skin, which is one I sampled once and I found I really liked it. It is similar, but I find it's very bitty. And I feel like a lot of it is going down the sink and one day a plumber is going to come and see what's blocking the <laughs> sink and there'll be like 50 cranberries down there. So it's not one of my favourites. Luckily, I got it for 50% off and it's, um, you know, just a kind of Christmas bargain and it's helped me to try it and decide that it's not for me. So yeah, that's Brush to Noel. It only comes in at Christmas, so that's it sold out for this year now. And you might see it again in December. That's the dry shampoo. I think that's the only one they have. <laughs> and um, yeah, used it a couple of times. No drought. Yes, and basically, well, it's a dry shampoo. You know what dry shampoo is. You put it in your hair and then you comb it out and then your hair looks nice again. Um, <laughs> that actually works fine and um, the smell of it is really good as well. That smells lemony again. Yeah. There seems to be a theme. <laughs> I love lemons, so what can I say? Yeah. But yeah, it smells it smells nice and fresh, so you get that smell in your hair as well if you use that. And I think that's that's definitely good. That's a plus. And obviously it works, so Yeah. So now you now you know which lush products we own, which we like. And this is only a handful of them. I know. Yeah. <laughs> if we've, we had money. <laughs> yeah, we've tried so many. So thank you for watching and thank you for looking around my fabulous bathrooms. <laughs> well, thanks for watching and I hope you liked the video. I hope you like Lush. I've been Kate. I've been Lily. Cheerio. See ya. <laughs>